two generally accepted methods for estimating the value of an inventory are the retail method and the gross profit method. For these methods, to closely approximate the actual value of inventory, the markup rate for all items bought and sold by the company must be consistent. If they're not, the estimates should be calculated separately for each product category. The retail method of inventory estimation is used by retail businesses of all types and sizes. To use this method, the company must have certain figures in its accounting records, including the following. The beginning inventory at cost price and at retail or selling price. Purchases during the period at cost price and at retail, and net sales for the period. From these figures, the goods available for sale are determined at both cost and retail. When they calculate the ratio, it's known as the cost retail price ratio, or simply the cost ratio. By the formula, cost ratio equals goods available for sale at cost over goods available for sale at retail. This ratio represents the cost of each dollar of retail sales. For example, if the cost ratio for a company is 0.6 or 60%, this means that 60 cents is the cost of each dollar of retail sales. Here are the steps in estimating inventory using retail. Step 1. List the beginning inventory and purchases at both cost and retail. Step 2. Add the purchases to beginning inventory to determine goods available for sale at both cost and retail, where beginning inventory plus purchases equals goods available for sale. Step 3. Calculate the cost ratio. Step 4. Subtract net sales from goods available for sale at retail to get ending inventory at retail. Step 5. Convert ending inventory at retail to ending inventory at cost by multiplying the ending inventory at retail by the cost ratio, where ending inventory at cost equals ending inventory at retail times cost ratio. Here's an example of estimating inventory using retail. Using the retail method, estimate the value of ending inventory at cost on June 30th from the following information for Dependable Distributors Incorporated. Using the retail method, estimate the value of ending inventory at cost on June 30th like we just talked about using this information. Step 1 and 2. List the beginning inventory and purchases and calculate the goods available for sale. Step 3. Calculate the cost ratio, where 350,000 over 700,000 equals 0.5 or 50%. Step 4. Find ending inventory at retail, where ending inventory at retail equals 700,000 minus 500,000 to equal $200,000. Step 5. Finally, convert the inventory at retail to inventory at cost by using the cost ratio, where ending inventory at cost equals 200,000 times 0.5 or $100,000 in ending inventory at cost.